Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this hair color right here from start to finish. I'm also going to show you guys how I style this hair and I'm going to show you guys how I got this wet hair look as well. So if you guys want to see how I achieve all of that, then please continue to watch. All right, enough of me being extra. Let me do this tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna be using some 613 hair from Asteria Hair, and I'm gonna link all the hair info in the description bar down below. So I'm using three bundles and a frontal to make my wig. This is not gonna be super detailed on wig making because I have tons of videos like that, so I'll link them in the description bar down below. All right, so I'm gonna take this 613 hair from this yellow blonde and turn it into this little strip of color that you see right here. I mean, this little strip of white platinum tone blonde. We're gonna tone the hair, it's gonna be super easy. So I'm just gonna unravel the bundles and I'm gonna tone all three bundles and the frontal. And I'm gonna use a purple shampoo. I use the blonde color Brilliance. You can also use the Shimmer Lights purple shampoo. Any purple shampoo will do, this is really easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this into my bucket and pour some water in the water does not have to be cold it doesn't have to be hot it doesn't matter it's just room temperature water all right so I'm just mixing up that shampoo into the water and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip my bundle in the water and I'm just gonna leave that in for let's say five minutes you can leave it in for less time it really depends on the hair if you see the hair changing really really fast like pull it out take a look at it because the longer you leave the hair in it the lighter it gets and it might get a little bit like kind of like really silvery and purple and if that's not the look you're going for then you know really keep a close eye on it so I left it in for about five minutes the first bundle but then the rest of them I left them in for like probably two minutes because I noticed it was getting a little too light and I didn't want it to look too silvery all right so I did all three bundles and I also did the frontal sorry I didn't show you guys that step I thought I filmed that step but I didn't but it's really the same exact thing that I did for the bundles I did the frontal in I left it in for two minutes and this is the end result so you can see a major difference with the hair color it's no longer that yellow tone blonde it's more of a white tone blonde so now I'm gonna go ahead and make my wig and like I mentioned before this was not gonna be a very detailed wig making video I will link one of those videos in the description bar down below by the way you guys Asteria hair they actually have like 613 wigs that are really good I actually really love the wigs the only problem is I find that they are a little bit too big for my head like their smallest size so if you don't want to make a wig from scratch or you don't know how to make a wig from scratch you can definitely check out like their 613 wigs um, yeah so this is my completed wig this is how she's looking I love how it turned out however I actually want it to be a little bit lighter just because I see some yellow in it still so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same step I'm a little bit of a perfectionist okay um, usually I cut certain scenes out if I'm gonna do it twice but I'm showing you guys that yes I do you know mess up sometimes and I was not really 100% happy with it so I went back and I added more purple shampoo to it but I kind of overdid it just a little bit but it's gonna look fine like do you see some of that ends are a little bit like looking purplish but that's okay because I'm gonna color the ends anyway so it won't look it won't it doesn't matter all right so let's get into the color I'm gonna be using purple rage and fiesta fuchsia from adore colors and these are their semi permanent colors and I'm gonna go ahead and mix them together in this water it is hot water by the way we're gonna do the watercolor method I'm gonna make this a very simple and very easy for you guys today nothing too complicated so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip the hair into the water I'm grabbing small sections of the hair and I'm just gonna dip the hair into the water so I'm not dipping my entire way because I wanted to have a nice ombre effect and I only use two bottles of dye for this and you guys I leave it in for like let's say two minutes but the hair was changing color pretty fast now this is the end result and this is how it's looking right now as you can see there are some spots that don't have any colors on it and it was looking more of a lighter pink and I want to basically make the color a little bit more vibrant so I went ahead and I dip it some more into the water color and I like doing it this way better especially for the ombre effect because I can see the exact placement of where I want the colors to be 
um, I know how far I want to take the color the purple color so I'm gonna go ahead and just dip the hair in and just add some more colors to the front pieces because the front pieces were looking a little bit too light and I want to add more colors on the tip all right, so this next step right here is completely optional. I'm gonna take my Clairol Natural Instincts in light golden brown, and I'm gonna go ahead and dye the knots. The knots right now are looking really, really white. So this is the knots right now. When you tone the hair, the knots actually get lighter, and this is just not gonna look that natural on my head when I apply the wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the knots. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up this dye together. So on my skin tone, I just find that the white knots, it doesn't look natural. So I just wanna make the knots look just a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna apply this all over the lace frontal. So try not to get it on the actual edge of the lace where you're gonna apply it on your forehead because then the lace is gonna be too dark. So we're just covering the knot, right? And you're gonna leave this on for about two minutes. Nothing longer than that. If you leave it on for too long, the knots are gonna be way too dark. So I'm gonna wash this off off camera. So this is the before. This is how it's looking before. You can see the white knots. And now this is the after. Look at her, scalpiana. Doesn't that look like scalp? Okay, so she's looking a little bit more natural now. All right, so moving right along, I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze up this wig so the hairline can look natural. This part of the video won't be super detailed on tweezing because my next video will be a lot more detail on tweezing and customizing the hairline. So I'm gonna go in with my tweezer and I'm gonna part it like I always do and then tweeze behind the part. So you're not tweezing the actual part, you're tweezing behind the part. All right, so the hairline is all tweezed. I'm all done with her, so now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna blow dry the hair. And I'm really, really living for this color. I love it. I've always wanted to do a color like this for a while now, like just really light blonde on top and then like colors on the bottom. You can do any color you want on the bottom. All right, so I went ahead and applied my wig off camera. I do have very detailed wig application video. I will link down below. I'm gonna go back in with that mousse and just flatten that wig down a bit more. And then I'm gonna take my hot comb. The brand is Anne or Annie, I believe. I will link it in the description bar. And I just go in with my hot comb just to flatten that wig down as well. And as you can see, one side of my hair is curled, like nice loose wave curls, and then the other side is just still straightened. So I curled it off camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I achieved the curls. I didn't do anything really special. I just used my flat iron and curl it away from my face. So grab small sections of hair and just curl it away from the face. And as for the products I use in my hair, I just use my Ion Hair Serum. It's the same one I use in all my videos. I applied it in my hair when I straighten it. I forgot to show you guys that clip. But yeah, that's what I use in my hair. And then I'm just going to finish curling off the rest of my hair. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Now you guys, as for this makeup look, I did not film a makeup tutorial on this. Because honestly, I just figured that you guys didn't want to see a makeup tutorial. And whenever I post the makeup tutorial, you guys don't watch them that much anyways. But if you want to see a tutorial on this look, comment down below because I actually really like this makeup look. I really like the colors and I think it looked really good with the hair. I was kind of mad at myself for not filming my makeup with the hair look. Let me know if you guys want me to do makeup, hair, and outfits in like one whole video. Let me know because sometimes I put on cute little outfits for my intro. So this is pretty much how the hair looks center part. You guys know I barely rock center part, but I was feeling it with this hair look. Um, you can pretty much do a center part, side part, half up, half down. I really, really love this color. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of it. And I'm gonna show you guys how I also achieve the wet hair look. This is something I do a lot when I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my water bottle and I'm just going to wet up my hair. I'm not gonna make it like soaking, damp, dripping wet, but I'm just gonna make it wet enough, right? And I do this a lot on days when I just like, I've had my wig on for a couple days, the curls are looking whack and you know, I don't wanna recurl my hair, I'm kinda lazy, so I'll just add some water. And then I'm gonna go in with some hair gel. So I'm gonna brush my hair first, and then I'm gonna go in with some hair gel. And the gel that I usually use is got to be gel, but I didn't have any, so I have to use the eco gel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that eco gel to my hair and just use my hand and kinda like scrunch it up just to get those little waves going. 
and then after that I'm gonna go in with some hair mousse as well just apply a little bit of hair mousse and just use your hand to scrunch that hair up and then I'm gonna go in with my got to be free spray and I'm just gonna apply this all over my hair not too much because you don't want when the hair to dry you don't want it to be hard and just crusty you want it to look you know you still want to have these fake wet hair look but you don't want the hair to feel look hard and crispy so yeah this is pretty much the completed look i hope you guys really enjoy this video i hope it was helpful to you guys and i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos i'll see you soon bye